Hi, I'm Dave from Special Fork. When you're cooking for one, it can be a challenge to find something interesting and easy. So today I'm going to show you how to make steamed fish with ginger and green onions. Now this dish requires a steamer. I'm using a Chinese steamer. If you don't have one, you can improvise using a covered wok or a covered skillet. So to get started, I'm going to mix together my sauce ingredients. I've got some soy sauce here. I'm going to add in some oyster sauce and some sugar and a little bit of garlic. Just going to mix that up and combine the ingredients. Okay, and now I'm going to pour it onto my fish. Today I'm using a uh, catfish. You can use any kind of white fish. So what we'll do is just pour it onto the fish. Get all that great sauce out. And now I'm going to add some ginger. Just sprinkle that on top. And some green onions. And that's all there is to the prep work. So now what we're going to do is, this is ready to go into the steamer. Now because the steamer is hot, what I want to do is uh, make a handle for it. And so what I'm going to use are these great kitchen rubber bands. Um, now you can also tie it down with string, but if you're going to use a rubber band, you really need to make sure it's a kitchen rubber band. These are going to hold up to the heat. So what we'll do is we'll just take one and put it on there like that. We'll grab another one. And we'll cross it. And when you're putting this on, make sure that you uh, get the rubber bands to cross in the center of the plate so that when you pick it up, it doesn't lean to one side or the other. So this is ready to go in. I'm going to pop that off. And we'll just lower this down into the steamer. And this is going to cook for about five to eight minutes. Okay, so the fish is done cooking. Let's let that steam out. And then what I'm going to do now is just use a fork to help me reach those rubber bands. Pick that up and make sure not to spill any of the sauce. There we go. Let's turn that off. And now, of course, we want to take the rubber bands off so we don't serve our fish with rubber bands. And I'm just going to put a little bit more of this sauce on top of the fish. And that is all there is to it. For more recipes and ideas on your smartphone, go to specialfork.com.